Hey Triple Fivers, hope you're doing well. Coming to you today from the studio with a video of my new safe. Uh, this is the Liberty 24. It is a limited edition in flat dark earth uh, with some special graphics. Uh, but basically it's an entry level American made safe. And it's designed to hold 24 guns. Uh, and it is um, a widely available safe in the standard black configuration. You can get them in a lot of uh, kind of uh, fleet stores and Cabela's and that kind of thing. This safe is about 60 inches tall and almost 30 inches wide, 28 and a quarter inches wide, and 20 inches deep. And so it uh, can fit into a lot of different spaces. I've got it bolted to the floor of my basement. I did drill into the concrete and I have it standing on hockey pucks actually. But in this video, I'm going to give you a tour of the safe talk about what I like and what I don't like. And uh, while this is uh, a great, uh, I would call a starter American made safe, there are definitely things about it that uh, leave something to be desired and I'm gonna share those with you as well. So let's get into it. All right folks, I'm gonna be going back and forth from wide angle lens to the higher res regular lens on my camera here. But uh, let's start with the wide to just give you a sense of this safe's overall dimensions. Again, we're looking at a 59.5 inch height and it is 29.25 inches wide and 20 inches deep. And as you can see here, I have the secure RAM electronic keypad and just the standard handle on this. And why did I go for this safe? Well, a couple reasons. First of all, uh, I knew I needed a bigger safe. This safe over here is a snap-on safe that is uh, now just my ammo storage. Uh, I needed uh, a safe that was uh, smaller, uh, not necessarily huge, but definitely something that offered some fire resistance. And uh, I also wanted to buy American. And so uh, that those criteria small to medium size safe uh, and made in America uh, and then also my price point was uh, under a thousand dollars and preferably close to five hundred dollars uh, these were all things that uh, motivated me to go with this uh, Liberty Centurion 24 even though on all of the literature and stickers that I got for this one it's just listed as the limited edition 24 it is as far as I can tell identical to a Centurion model uh, except it has this uh, tan paint which uh, you know cue all of the ma eagle memes and and uh, trolls right now uh, but I was feeling patriotic when I bought this and also, I prefer the tan uh, paint for dust. It's just uh, an unfinished basement down here. And so I don't want to deal with a, a dusty, dark safe. I did that with the Snap-on for years, and I'm ready to have something that can get a little dusty, and I won't notice it right away. All right, let's first take a closer look at this keypad. This is Liberty's own proprietary keypad. It's called the Secure RAM. And uh, as you can see, uh, it has a nice red LED light in there so that you could theoretically use this light even after dark. Uh, I uh, like the tactile feel of it. Uh, it's very positive and uh, it's not giving me any problems. It was easy to program as well. And uh, it'll double beep like that, obviously, if you're not giving the uh, right password. Sorry, one quick thing to show you before we go inside. This safe does have the outside hinges. They're flat hinges, but that is generally considered for a safe to be a cheaper feature. It is um, obviously another uh, weakness, conceivably nicer safes in the Liberty line or in other brands of safe often have uh, hinges that are built into the inside. So that's just worth noticing. One other small QC defect I just want to mention is uh, on the handle here. When I received this safe, there was a little scrape on the top of this handle, which is metal and feels solid. doesn't feel cheap, but this paint was just scraped off for some reason. I don't understand why that was. I might just touch it up, but I might just leave it. You know, relatively speaking, it's very minor. Uh, you, I also uh, forgot to mention that uh, all of the uh, branding on the safe is just a sticker, uh, which is uh, just important to note if, uh, obviously, you know, you're careless with the safe like this, you could scrape this and damage it. Nice 
clockwise motion to open the safe. Very satisfying and then uh, it's just counterclockwise to close it. All right, so let's take a look at the door real quick. This door features uh, what they call uh, military style bars. Uh, rather than the uh, hollow tubes that you'll sometimes see on Chinese safes, uh, these bars, uh, and it looks like there's a total of, of five of them on this safe, uh, basically help uh, keep the door more um, pry resistant. And you can see here, uh, obviously the door is labeled with a variety of stickers. Uh, this is a 30 minute safe, it describes the insulation here, uh, and uh, that this has um, a variety of uh, lifetime uh, warranty features. So if it gets broken into or if it gets into a fire, uh, Liberty will warranty the safe, which is great. Up here is a serial number, which I covered for obvious reasons. Um, this is one thing that I wish Liberty would actually improve. I would really like to see a stamped serial number. I think that that would uh, be a little bit more secure. Um, and you can take a look at the door more closely here and see that, you know, this is not all one solid piece of steel. Uh, this is, um, you know, well made, but uh, clearly, um, you know, a really violent prying attack could, could probably take this door apart. All right, let's do a quick wide angle shot so you can see what this safe looks like with this door open. Uh, it did come with uh, kind of a deluxe door panel. And as you can see, there's basically two spots uh, for rifles and then a shelf for guns and that's it. Uh, I did add a light myself to this. Uh, this is just a GE motion sensor light that is the right width for the safe uh, attached with just a standard sort of scotch secure tape up there and it is just a motion sensor light that's plugged in uh, so that I can light it up whenever I want. I'm not too worried about having my shorter rifles uh, not lit. I know what's down there and uh, uh, that shelf there is holsters and um, you can remove this if you want uh, if you had any rifles that need to be taller. Um, let's take a closer look at some things. Okay so this does come with a deluxe door panel as you can see, but you can probably also notice that there's some um, separation of the panel from the door, actually. Um, I'm not really thrilled about this. This is one of those things where it seems like this is a nice feature, but to be honest, I'm not really uh, excited to leave my guns in here uh, because um, anything uh, with a decent amount of weight is going to pull on this, and I imagine it's only going to get worse over time. The other thing is, is I really like the gray interior on this, but the black here is really prone to getting a little bit of dirt. Uh, you know, even just, you know, moving a gun in and out from the field. If you happen to brush against this with a dirty glove or something, uh, you're going to just be cleaning this a lot. I noticed that it picks up little scuffs really quite easily, as you can see here. And um, so, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I like that it came with a deluxe door panel. I think there are some ways that this design could be improved. Uh, so that this door panel sort of just feels nicer and not like it's uh, coming off of the door already. Um, as far as actually putting guns in here, uh, if that were fixed, uh, these are nice felt-lined uh, pockets for, for the uh, guns. And then this mesh is also nice and soft. And there's nothing really inside any of these things that would make me be concerned that, like, um, the quality uh, of the construction would, you know damaged goods or anything like that so overall it's nice to have the deluxe panel but it's um uh, i ultimately ended up getting a, a rack for my pistols um, let's take a look at the main compartments okay so before we get into this i want to just clarify that these are not all of my guns uh all of my guns were lost in a boating accident and so i'm just storing guns uh, for free citizens um, and by no means does this uh, video mean to show my gun collection, uh, even partially. So uh, don't get any weird ideas ATF when you are watching this video. But um, as we get in here, we can see, uh, again, that we've got this overhead light. And I'm going to actually come around so that you can see what it looks like. Uh, it really does light up this uh, safe overall very nicely. Um, one of the things that uh, I don't like about this safe, I'll tell you again, is that um, you can see there's really only a few spots for long guns. Um, I uh, love uh, waterfowl and upland game hunting and have uh, a few different uh, shotguns for that. And 
uh, yeah, wow, so not very many spots. Uh, you could conceivably put more here uh, as well, um, but anyone who stores guns uh, in a safe like this knows that uh, front storing guns is kind of a tricky thing because uh, you're always going to have to move them in order to get at your other guns. Um, so sometimes uh, I do temporarily put guns here. Uh, but for now, uh, really the best places for your long guns, there's only a spot for a few of them. And then in the back here, you can see that um, there is still quite a bit of room that I could uh, fill here. Um, there's four different spots that are pre-drilled in the floor for you to uh, permanently mount this, which of course is a necessity. Uh, otherwise, this is just uh, a big birthday present for somebody else. Um, the drilling process was uh, very slow and tedious um, to really get right. Um, one thing that was a little unfortunate, I'll come down here, and I apologize that this isn't perfectly well lit. Um, I had to drill in the back for this safe in order to have uh, a place for my cord for my light to go out. It was not pre-drilled. So that was a, another annoyance, I would say, uh, with this safe, that there was a spot in the back of the safe. In the metal, there's a hole where you could drill a hole uh, to get a light with a cord through but it wasn't actually drilled through the drywall so I had to uh, go and do that myself with a spade bit um, so again kind of a I don't know an extra QD thing that maybe could have uh, or a Q quality control thing that could have been taken care of uh, let's take a look more closely at kind of the quality of the construction on the inside here okay so one of the features that you know sets this apart from a really entry-level safe is that it does have carpet on these shelves these shelves um, are just particle board, uh, nothing fancy, um, and uh, they're not actually glued in very much. You can see here that there's bas they're basically pressed into a slot in the wood here, um, which means that there is still a little bit of particle board exposed. Kind of, uh, again, a little bit disappointing. I wish there was a way that they could adhere this a little bit more tightly against the particle board. Another thing that's interesting here is it's clear that uh, whatever they do to install the um, drywall in this they glue the carpet to it first and then they put it in because uh, this crease here is a spot where it's not perfectly flush um, and again down here uh, where the shotguns are you can see places where uh, it's just not perfectly attached um, you know it's kind of disappointing I, I did look at browning safes in this price range and even though they're made uh, overseas they're uh, quality control actually seems to be maybe a little bit nicer than what you are getting on these entry-level um, uh, Liberty safes and uh, so that was a little bit disappointing for me to see that you know uh, your guns are are it is true they're resting up against a, a faux leather uh, so they're not going to get scratched or anything uh, or even worn over time but but you know this is a, a little spot I'm gonna it's right in my line of sight every time I'm going in to the safe so I wouldn't mind if that was uh, just finish a little bit nicer so but overall you know uh, for the gun collection that is in here uh, which is by no means my gun collection uh, nor uh, anyone's uh, that I would like to disclose publicly um, this uh, is a good size safe for, for this as well as storing a few other things cameras some fixed blades um, and some paperwork down there as well uh, so uh, it does suit my needs very well, and uh, overall just is um, a good fit in my uh, little studio to have quick access to stuff and um, uh, store things with a little bit of room to grow, uh, as, as every gun owner hopes to do with their collection over time. So if I was going to summarize the pluses and minuses of the Liberty Safe 24, uh, the Centurion model, I would say first of all, uh, I like that I'm getting a Made in USA safe with some proprietary security features, uh, those uh, military style locking bars. Uh, I also like that this came with a deluxe panel. I don't know if mine is just a bad example that has a little bit of separation there. Uh, I will still probably use this eventually. Um, here I'll just put um, uh, a gun in there and you can just kind of see uh, kind of what it does once it's in there. Uh, this is obviously a BB gun. Um, and uh, you can see that there's a little bit of separation here. Um, not ideal. Uh, I do like the solid top shelf for storing a bunch of heavier things. I don't uh, feel a need for this shelf to be necessarily movable 
uh, the way that there is room for removable shells down here. I don't have any shells in there. It did come with two other ones that you could conceivably store ammo in or something. Uh, over here, um, I wouldn't mind if this whole shelf itself actually was maybe an inch or two shorter so that you could maybe get another long gun or two uh, uh, to be able to, to store in the safe easily. Um, this is actually metal, this piece right here. And as you can see, there are holes in there, so you could continue to store medium-sized guns like this, a uh, double barrel, um, and uh, easily have access to them. I'm using this area, by the way, of course, for holsters, and um, that is um, probably not going to stay that way, but it's working for now. Uh, like the gray interior, um, once this light was installed, which was just a GE light I got at my local Fleet Farm, I think I paid 30 bucks for it, I uh, really took care of the lighting. Uh, it is an LED light, so even though I've had this thing on for like an hour, it's just a little warm, and uh, you can just shut it off, you know, by moving your finger. Um, it's a little weird how you kind of have to stroke it um, to get it to shut off, but then it shuts off like that, and you can stroke it again to turn it back on. Um, yeah, so good, I would say, small to medium-sized safe made in the USA. Uh, the... Metal construction is satisfactory to me for uh, what you're getting. The interior finishing, I would say, is adequate and isn't going to damage your guns in any way without necessarily really being fancy at all. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that uh, for the price, I couldn't find anything better uh, when you're looking at spending more. Um, really, the next brand of safes to move up to are like the Champion safes, and uh, they are quite a bit more expensive a safe this size made in the USA from a different company is typically going to be well over $1,000, close to $1,200. And so I do appreciate Liberty being competitive with those Chinese companies uh, or those Chinese manufactured safes from uh, the likes of Snap-on and Browning and uh, Kodiak and what have you and uh, be able to buy an American-made safe. So there you go. That's the inside of the safe. Well, okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up down below. If you're interested in more guy gear related stuff, please make sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell because I publish when I'm able to and that schedule is irregular. Uh, but I really do appreciate a thumbs up if you made it this far. Uh, one question I just want to address briefly before we go is why get us safe at all? Well, obviously guns are dangerous in the hands of inexperienced or malfeasant people. And, uh, and I do have a number of kids in my house. And so a concern about me was uh, always to have my guns locked up uh, when I am uh, uh, having any guns in the house whatsoever. And so I think for the safety of kids, it's really important to have a, something that you can lock your guns in. Uh, why did I go with a Liberty? Well, uh, USA made, obviously. And uh, it's all finished and ready to go. Um, you know, there's kind of a popular alternative at this uh, slightly under $1,000 price range out there with, um, you know, upscale lockers like Wrangler Stars talked about that. Lockers are nice in some respects, but uh, I actually prefer the extra weight. This is 375 pounds. And I like the little bit of fire insulation so that in the event of this uh, safe, you know, uh, being exposed to uh, a short fire, and I live right by the fire department, uh, then uh, I would be, you know, hopefully protecting the contents a little better. A traditional safe, I think, still has a place in 2020 uh, for gun collectors, and, uh, and it's certainly great for storing other valuable things if you're not into firearms. So that's, again, why I think safes are a good idea, uh, absolutely for safety, and then also the traditional safe has some merits that I think are still relevant. Uh, but again, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Love to hear what you think of this Liberty Safe. Are you a Liberty Safe owner? Has your experience been a good one? Uh, please do let me know in the comments below. And if you have a dev another brand of safe that you think uh, you could speak on behalf of, uh, it's always educational. I know I love reading comments on videos like this to just see what people are doing themselves uh, to continue to protect their Second Amendment and uh, to protect their belongings. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Cheers and best wishes.